For Michigan voter Dr. Mahmoud Al-Hadidi, there is one issue above all others on his mind when he casts a ballot in the November election. Respect. The Muslim community would like to be acknowledged as part of this great American nation and not an, as an alien culture to this nation. Uh, the Muslim community would like to be treated with respect. In 2016, the emergency room physician supported Democrat Hillary Clinton for president. He also supported Democrat Gretchen Whitmer in her successful run for Michigan's governorship in 2018. But this time around, he isn't sure if he'll support former Vice President Joe Biden or Republican President Donald Trump. I would like some of my concerns addressed before I make up my mind. One concern is the U.S. government's terrorist screening database, commonly known as the Watch List, which many Muslim Americans feel targets innocent members of their community. Definitely that list should be updated, and those who are wrongfully on that list should uh, have their dignity back and they be, should be removed. And that will be something fair and just. Dr. Al-Hadidi says he would also like to see a Muslim American appointed to a high-ranking position in the next administration. You've got to tell people something to excite them to go out and vote. Just because Biden is not Trump is not a good reason for me to go out and vote. Osama Siblani is the publisher of the Arab American News, a website and newspaper popular with Michigan's large Arab and Muslim American community. But there is like 50-60% of our community are not excited by the Biden-Harris campaign. They're disgusted with the Trump campaign. Siblani says many in the community are outraged over the Trump administration's ban on travelers from some countries with majority Muslim populations, a ban Biden pledges to remove. But he said there is also recognition and support for Trump's efforts to secure peace and reduce U.S. troop levels in the Middle East. Even though would, would, whatever Trump you know, being characterized, we would like to have a conversation with, with the Trump administration. Uh, I believe that there are some issues uh, that we're very interested in. I think that him not being a very hawkish on war in the region, that's very important to us. He has support, but it's not substantial. It's not that people are deciding between Joe Biden and Donald Trump. Oftentimes it's between Joe Biden and not voting. Dr. Abdul El Sayed is an epidemiologist who ran against Whitmer for the Democratic nomination for Michigan governor in 2018. Today, he is chair of the political action committee, Southpaw, Michigan. But the point that I'll always make the, the community is that, you know, you are voting for your own political power, right? As the, 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 the proportion of Arab Americans voting and Muslim Americans voting in elections grows. Um, it forces politicians to pay attention because if they want those votes, that can mean the difference between victory and defeat. A recent poll of American Muslims by the Institute for Social Policy and Understanding shows about 78% of those eligible to vote are registered, an 18% increase since 2016. There is no Muslim monolith, right? No one community thinks with one mind. I mean, uh, we are a diverse community, just like every community in this country. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Dearborn, Michigan.